Hello guys, the masking tutorial, our tutorial number 6 in our routine series. Masking is about hiding, concealing parts, areas of our videos. So we can select what area we can see and what area we cannot. In this still beginner tutorial, we will see just the basic aspects of masking using a pill. If you're watching this video from YouTube, remember, you can always find in the video description a link to our full Hitfin tutorial playlist. Just click on the link and YouTube will take you to our complete playlist, so you can watch all the videos we are making in this Hitfin series. So let's come back and get started. Ok, let's go to Hitfilm, and now let's import a video. Import, videos, and Christmas wish. Open. Comes to the media panel, we can see it here in the trimmer, and let's find a good moment. This could be the setting point. Play this a little. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be one day till Christmas Eve, and if you guys don't watch it on the actual day it comes out, it is probably Christmas. Yes, it's probably Christmas. Set up point and let's drag this few seconds to the timeline. I don't want to change the editor sequence. No. Let's zoom in a little like this and let's apply the masking. Masks are visual effects. How we do that? Any effects in the film will be created through a composite shot. We need to right click on this and make a composite shot. Then go from the editing workspace we are now to composing workspace. Let's do that. Right click, make a composite shot. Let's call this Christmas Wish Composite Shot. Okay? Now we are the Christmas Wish Composite Shot. Anytime we're making a composite shot, we go to the workspace. We go from the editing workspace to the compositing. Compositing. Now, let's apply some masking to this video. Let's preview this. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be. And if you guys okay, from the beginning, we've seen some of these tools. The selection tool used to move the video to rotate it, to place it, to resize it. We also have used the text tool, but we have not this, the rectangular mask, the ellipse, and the freehand mask. Let's use this. Let's click at the rectangular mask. This will be an effect applied to this clip, to this video to this Christmas Wish composition. So, as we want a mask, we click on this dot and arrow, click on mask. Once we have clicked on mask, in also a rectangular mask, we just draw a rectangle like this. And we select a part of the video. That will be the only part you can see. Let's play this. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be one day till Christmas Eve, and if you guys don't watch it on the actual day it comes out, it is probably Ok, that is masking. Looks very simple right now, but uh, believe me, these kind of things are very useful when you're making special effects. Draw down arrow, and let's bring some kind of picture. Let's import pictures. What about this image? It's beautiful. Open, here it is. And let's drag it. If I position it over the Christmas Wish composite shot, it will cover it. I need it to be behind, so I drag this to a lower place. This way. Let's play this. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be one day till Christmas Eve and if you guys... Well, it's that simple. That is masking. I want to continue masking. But if I try to mask at this moment, I will be masking this one, the leg behind. I don't want that. So I need to click on this, clicking on this eye. Now I can concentrate only in this picture. The selected one, the Christmas wishes. Don't the arrow, I can see. Let's unclick this mask. No masking. Masking. Very simple, right? Let's delete this just by right clicking and remove this masking. Remove. Now we can see on the video. We can use the lips one. So I click on mask. Click on the lips. Mask. And draw one. Like this. Let's play this a little. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be one day to. Let's enable the picture behind, click, and now look at this. Hey guys, find the time that you're seeing this video. It will be one day till Christmas Eve. Okay, 
let's hide the picture, Christmas wizard, let's select it, drop down arrow and let's delete this mask. Remove. You can also do this kind of things with the freehand mask click. Look how this works. With the free hands, you select by clicking the area you want to see. Look at this, let's position the marker at the beginning. And let's draw this. Of course we have selected the freehand mask and also click on the max tool under the properties of this Christmas wish composition. And let's draw it. Enable and let's click. Look like this. Click, click, click. And you go all around the area you want to see. There is also the chance of using dragging like this. Look at this, I'm dragging. If you want to draw a curve, look at this. Okay, you can click and drag. Okay. If I click here and drag, this thing will expect a curve. This requires a little bit of practice. You can draw anything you want. Let's continue this. Continue clicking and let's finish this. This is just a practice, like this. How do you end? Clicking at the original point, going from here to here. Click on this and we're just selecting a part. Look, if we enable the background image, seems like if she is just over the lake. You can use the selection tool, move this image, like this. I'm gonna play the video, obviously, as I'm masking, some areas of her body will go outside the mask, but this is just a beginner tutorial, we're trying to understand how the masking works. Let's play this. Hey guys, by the time that you're seeing this video, it will be one day till Christmas Eve, and if you guys don't watch it on the actual day it comes out, it is probably Christmas. Well, this is masking, clicking and dragging. Let's do one final thing with the masking. Let's go from the Christmas with Composite Show to the editor. I would like to import two pictures. Let's import, let's use this one, hold control, and this one. Open. I want to show you one thing. Let's drag this to the timeline. Like this. Position it better. Position the marker over it to see it. And let's make a composite shot of this. Right click, make composite shot. Green screen, composite shot. Now we are the composite shot. So we have the editor where we see the two clips, the Christmas composite shop, this one we have just made, and this new green screen composite shop. Well, look what I want to do. Of course, get rid of the green area. Remember how to do that? We saw that a few tutorials before. You go to Effect tab, click on this, then select the presets. Click on the drop arrow to the effects, and then look for green skin, click on it and drag it to the picture, release that, and that is all, drop down arrow, I wanna bring, let's come back to the media panel, let's look for this tree, click and drag it, if I position it over, we'll cover it, I need it below, like this, now seems like if the girl is in front of the tree, we've done that before. I can select the green screen girl, rotate it a little, look what I want to do now. I want to change the size. And I want this to look like if she is behind the tree. Remember what masking is. Masking is hiding areas of the video. If she is behind the tree, this area of, the, of her body shouldn't be visible. Well, that is what I want to do. Click on the green screen girl. So she selected and let's mask a little. I will use the freehand mask. Green screen and let's click on mask. I'm gonna apply some masking to this picture. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to mask like this the picture. As I have selected the green screen picture, what I'm doing doesn't affect the tree. But as I want to do this at the border of the tree, it would be convenient if I make the girl invisible for a while. So I'm gonna click at this eye, look at this, and I don't see the girl, she's still there, just I can see that. And then I go through to the border of the tree, like this. Make the girl visible again. And now let's, let's continue.
just go over here. When I click here, only the area under this area could be visible. I'm going, click, and now looks like if the girl is behind the tree. That is an special effect. Well, that was our masking tutorial. I hope you like it. We continue with our if theme series. See you in the next tutorial.